Candidates should be able to describe the process of thermal energy transfer by infrared radiation and know that it does not require a medium. Know what happens to an object if the rate at which it absorbs energy is less, equals, or more than the rate at which it emits energy from the object. Describe the effect of surface color and texture on the emission, absorption, and refraction of infrared radiation. Describe how the rate of emission of radiation depends on the surface temperature and surface area of an object. Describe experiments to distinguish between good and bad emitters of infrared radiation. Describe experiments to distinguish between good and bad absorbers of infrared radiation. Know how the temperature of the Earth is affected by factors incoming radiation and radiation emitted from the Earth's surface. Radiation Radiation is the transfer of thermal energy from one place to another by means of electromagnetic waves. Radiation can occur in a vacuum, particles of matter are not involved. Radiation is emitted by all bodies above absolute zero and consists mostly of infrared radiation. As an object gets hotter, it will also emit more thermal radiation. Thermal equilibrium as an object absorbs thermal radiation, it will become hotter. If the rate at which an object emits energy is less than the rate at which it absorbs energy, then the object will heat up. If the rate at which an object absorbs energy is less than the rate at which it emits energy, then the object will cool down. Both processes will always move towards thermal equilibrium. Eventually, the object will reach a point of constant temperature where the rate at which it absorbs radiation is equal to the rate at which at which it emits radiation. At this point, the object will be in thermal equilibrium. Emitters and absorbers of thermal radiation. Matte or dull black surfaces of the objects are good emitters and good absorbers of thermal radiation. Shiny white or silver surfaces of the objects are good reflectors but worst absorbers of thermal radiation. There are two factors which affect the rate at which energy is radiated from the surface of a hot object. The temperature of the surface. A hotter surface radiates energy at a greater rate. The surface area. Energy is radiated at a greater rate from a bigger surface area. An experiment to distinguish between good and bad emitters of infrared radiation. Set up the experiment as shown. The metal cube has its vertical sides painted with four different surfaces. Matte black, white, shiny black, and silver. Fills the cube with boiling water. Leave for one minute to enable the surfaces to heat up to the temperature of the water. Use the infrared detector to measure the intensity of infrared temperature from each surface, or the temperature of the surface. Make sure that the detector is the same distance from each surface for each reading to ensure that this is a fair test. The results show that the highest temperature at the matte surface and lowest temperature at the silver surface. Therefore, matte surfaces are the best emitters of the thermal radiation. Silver surfaces are the worst emitters of thermal radiation. An experiment to distinguish between good and bad absorbers of infrared radiation. Set up the experiment as shown. Two metal surfaces are painted with matte black and white. They placed at the same distance from the heater to ensure that this a fair test. Two similar thermometers are attached at the back of two surfaces. The initial readings are taken on the two thermometers. The radiant heater is switched on and the temperature on the two thermometers recorded after one minute. The temperature at matte black surface is higher than at white surface after one minute. Therefore, the matte black surfaces are the best absorbers of thermal radiation. White surfaces are the worst absorbers of heat radiation. The another experiment to investigate the emitters of thermal radiation. Step up the experiment as shown. One can has a matte black surface and the other can has a white surface. Place them at the same distance from the heater to ensure that this a fair test. Fill the two cans with cold water at the same initial temperature to ensure that this is a fair test. 
Use thermometer to measure the temperatures at same time interval to ensure that it is a fair test. Record and compare the results. Greenhouse effect. If the Earth had no atmosphere, the temperature on the surface would drop to about minus 180 Celsius at night, the same as the Moon's surface at night. This would happen because the surface would be emitting all the radiation from the Sun into space. Therefore, the atmosphere of the Earth caused the Earth's temperature. The radiation from the Sun enters the Earth's atmosphere to reach the Earth's surface. Radiation is absorbed by the Earth's surface and re-emitted at longer wavelengths, such as infrared radiation. This is because the Earth's surface temperature is smaller than the Sun's surface temperature. Some emitted thermal radiation passes through the atmosphere into space. Some emitted thermal radiation is absorbed and reflected back by air in the atmosphere, such as water vapor, methane and carbon dioxide, which prevents it from escaping into space. These processes makes the Earth warmer than it would be if these gases were not in its atmosphere. The temperature of the Earth is affected by factors controlling the balance between incoming radiation and radiation emitted from the Earth's surface, such as the rate of radiation from sun reflected back into space. The rate of radiation absorbed by the Earth's atmosphere or by the Earth's surface. The rate of radiation emitted from the Earth's surface and from the Earth's atmosphere into space. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, and leave a positive comment. Your support will help me to continue making videos and encourage me to create new content. Thank you.